After an amazing week three, here's my new and updated top 25. Let's start at the top because this is where I think the most debate is going to happen. If you watched my video last night when I recapped the night games and I talked about Georgia not winning big against Kentucky and I was going to put Ohio State at number one, I have changed my mind. And the reason I've changed my mind is because we are now at the point in the season when we can draw the line between what have teams actually done versus what do we think teams are. And I think Ohio State is the number one team in the country. I was saying that coming into the season, but they haven't really done anything yet compared to Texas, Georgia, or Alabama. After Alabama's win at Wisconsin, they leapfrog Ole Miss and they drop to five. Tennessee and Miami leapfrog Missouri and Oregon because I know Missouri and Oregon are good. It's just we've seen mixed results so far in the season, and I'm going to reward the teams who have been consistently good. The order of Utah, USC, and Penn State has not changed. And I think the next tier of teams starts with Oklahoma, Kansas State, and Oklahoma State. Notre Dame is the best one-loss team in the country, followed by LSU and Michigan. I would still pick those teams to beat Nebraska and Iowa State, so they fall to 19 and 20. Clemson, I'm still skeptical on, but kept them in my top 25. Pitt, I wanted to include in my top 25 after two comeback wins, and Illinois off to a 3-0 start, looking impressive. UNLV has two wins against Power 4 programs, and they absolutely deserve to be the highest ranked group of five team, and Northern Illinois still deserves to be ranked after winning at Notre Dame, even with a bye this week. Let me know what you think of my top 25, and specifically comment what your top five looks like after three weeks.